Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about dirty, toxic water. I mean, I've spent a lot of my life evidently fishing dirty, toxic water. Water that most people believe there aren't any fish in, that there, there's no way there can be fish in there. And mostly because it sits like this one right in the middle of a city. gets a lot of street runoff, gets a lot of stuff in it. And this pond in particular, if you look at this footage of me flipping, you can see that right in front of me there's this little sign that says, high bacterial count, no water contact. That's people's image of this pond. So when they see me fishing here, their first question is, there's no way you catch fish here. I'm like, actually I catch a lot of fish here. But it's not just this pond, there's two other ponds on the peninsula, and people say the same thing. Oh, it's, it's, the, the, this water's too dirty, this water's really toxic, there's no fish in here. Just because it's in, evidently, the middle of a city. And it gets street runoff and gets all that stuff. But these, these ponds are totally fine. There's another one that I used to fish in, in San Luis Obispo. And I got comments from people when I mentioned the pond saying, How can you catch fish in there? It's sewer water. There's no fish in there. I fished it. I didn't catch anything. Don't believe that. Go give it a try. If there's actually bass in there, there's probably a lot of bass and nobody fishes it so there's not much pressure so you will probably find yourself catching a lot of bass. This pond has a huge population of bass. A lot of four to five inches, a lot of six to eight inches, a lot of nine to ten inches, tons of lunkers. Not lunkers but keepers. I mean to most people they think they're lunkers because they see me catch a two and three pound bass and they're like freaked out. Same thing with Laguna that I fished in slow. Catch eight or ten keepers a day in there. So just don't don't believe all this stuff when people tell you that it's, oh, it's polluted, it's dirty, there's no fish in there. Go check it out for yourself. Go fish it. Because if there is a population of bass in there, I bet you it's a great population. And you'll probably find yourself catching a lot of quality bass out of it. I hope this helps. Until next time.